Today I'm going to go over the reassembly of the upper driven gear housing. That's going to be the one with the universal joints and the carrier that goes together here with the two bearings inside of it and how to press that back together. Uh, there's a specific technique for this that you're definitely going to want to pay attention to. All right, so first of all, in the book, uh, it really doesn't go over with the, the SPA, uh, DPS XXM drive uh, on some of the newer models. It doesn't go over how to protect the gear from putting it on a press. In the older manuals, uh, there is this tool you'll probably have in your tool set, 884-259, which fits into this gear perfectly. Okay, So I can put this on a press, put the gear on that tool, and it supports the gear off the press. The next thing is, I've got a new crush sleeve or a pretension sleeve, and the old one that I took out of the drive, that one gets thrown away. All right? You cannot reuse them. So put the new crush sleeve on top of the gears, it says in the book. The next step is you're going to put the carrier back over the bearing. Remember, we're going to set rolling torque on this or bearing pretension. So we definitely want to lubricate the bearings a little bit before we put it back together. Make sure you use the fully synthetic gear lube. Just put a little bit on there so you've got some lubricant on the bearings when you put it back together. Um, make sure you're wearing clean gloves or you've got your hands clean when you do this so that you have a good clean uh, etiquette here because you definitely do not want to get any dirt or any debris in these bearings. If you put this back together and you feel any type of tension to it or there's any roughness to it, you have to take it all apart, clean all the bearings back out, hold the bearing, blow it out with compressed air, put some gear lube on it, and then push down lightly on it and spin it in your hand and make sure you don't feel any crunchiness to it, any dirt that's in there. It has to be 100% clean to do this. So I'm gonna take the carrier, already has the races pressed in it. This facing inward, obviously the gear goes inside. I'm also gonna take a little bit of gear lube and put it on the inside and on the gear so that I'm gonna press that on there. I'm gonna put the bearing inside, line that bearing up with my fingers, and then we need this tool, which is that same tool we used to press the seal out, that's that 884-263 tool, and I'm gonna put that on the bearing itself, center it. I'm gonna center this on the press, make sure everything looks nice and and centric if you can, lined up. Spend the extra moment, tighten your press up, and then start pressing the bearing. Don't forget the bearing has to face taper down and the other bearing faces taper up. So do a little checklist, don't rush through this because you're done. Now, once that bearing starts to press on there, you'll hear it start to press on. What you wanna do is we're gonna press that bearing down until I can just Take the rock out of this housing and let me zoom in and make sure you can see this a little better. Angle it down a touch. Okay, so this is an important part. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this, press it down, keep rocking it back and forth with rotation. We're getting close, the bearing still spins nice and free. We've got to take all that rock out of it. Got right in there? Adding to my video. I know he's in our tour room. So I'm getting close. Now the, it's going to get tight because now the bearings have gotten to the point where the inner races of those bearings are touching that pretension sleeve or that crush sleeve. And now I have to use the press to start to distort that. So that crust leaf is going to bow out, all right? So I'm still making sure I have no rock. Spin it. And I'm into that crust leaf now. I can feel it starting to get harder to crush. Go nice and easy. You want to take all of that crush out. 
just about close. Still spins free. All right, now we're almost there. So you can see now, I have almost no rock out of this side to side. That's the important part, but it still spins freely, okay? Now I have no side to side play at all. That's what I want. Now I still can spin the bearing freely, okay, by ease. If I over tighten this, I crush it too far and this gets tight, you probably have got to take it all apart and get a new crush sleeve. So the, the pre tension on this is only 6 to 11 inch pounds. So it's very, very critical that you stop at this point and then we're going to go to the next step, which is the reassembly of it. So once that's done, can take that out and it still spins freely but I have no play in it and that's how it should how it should feel okay so we'll go in the lab and we're going to go reassemble this in the next video